Hello, Numeric here, and today, well, it's another new video, and I've got every single single shot blaster that I have, pistol wise. I'm not taking out the uh, shotguns or whatever. But these are all the pocket pistols, basically, and I have. Goes from smallest to largest, and all of them, just single shot, basic pull action or whatever. It's boring, boring. Also, how did you like the uh, intro that I made? I think the last video I had uh, was the first one I used. It took me like a whole 20 minutes to make it. Mostly waiting for my videos to load, because my internet is horribly slow. But I've got all... Seven pocket pistols lined up with some rounds, and I'll be firing downrange at a bed so the first thing here is the x shot micro which is a tiny little thing i mean you really don't understand how small this is it fits in the palm of the hand it's got this which is supposed to be dart storage i have no clue genuinely but yeah you just stick the dart in there it sticks halfway out because it's just that small and then dart storage so let's uh, pop off a couple shots with the x shot micro which hopefully i've got like three rounds right here just aiming it in a general direction, just that general direction. Hopefully it makes it onto the bed. It's got a lot of power to it. And another thing to note about the X-Shot Micro is it is incredibly loud. Like, horribly, at, hor genuinely horribly inaccurate, but it is really loud because it has a lot of power behind it. And, yeah. I was aiming straight, goes straight up for some reason. You will not hit what you're aiming at. This, it's famous, it's the jolt, everybody loves it, everybody knows it. I have two of these for no reason. And then grab a couple rounds for this. Just aim right towards the center mass of that giant blanket or something. Yeah. The performance of the jolt isn't too good. I think it's like 60 FPS. But at the time when the jolt came out, it had really good performance for how small it was. But yeah, it's respectable performance for this little thing. So that's the next one. Uh, this, what this is, is I don't know what this is. It's something Alpha Strike. Uh, I don't know what this thing's called. It's cheap. It's you, They made the jolt cheaper somehow. But uh, basically, it's just bad in every way. I, I think the performance of this is just bad. Really bad. This next thing is something, I think, from Dart Zone or Busby. Uh, it, it's Busby. Busby just can't make grips for actual human fingers because I have small hands, relatively small hands. And I've got like two, two and a half fingers. I get one and a half fingers hanging off. No actual trigger guard on this thing. Aim. Wow. Okay, that's actually really good. That was... Huh, that was a really straight shot, surprisingly, considering it's a nerf dart. But aim basically the same spot. Oh, yeah. Let's see what this thing does. Hmm. It's actually really good. Okay. I'm surprised. That's solid performance from something that I don't know what... Hover tech or something. I don't know. This is the Star Wars blaster. Uh, yeah. Basically. Uh, chunky. Chunky as it gets right there. Uh, it's actually got a rail on top, which is surprising. But it is actually, the, like, one of the larger single shot blasters I have. Interesting little priming mechanism on the back, which is really fun. But yeah, otherwise, that's actually pretty nice. So I'm going to aim. Pretty good. respectable now if you don't recognize this let me give you a little bit of a hint cough cough this is what's left of the vanguard i've removed this entire chunk of plastic which is like 50 percent of the blaster because this is all useless and has a whole bunch of unnecessary dart storage this is basically all you need in fact you could remove even more from this like this entire front section right here you don't really need it this weird thing that makes it really difficult to hold for some reason you don't really need it uh, the only actual, like, positive about this blaster is that it is insanely powerful. Like, look at this performance. Yeah, that is really good performance. That's, like, the only, like, positive thing is that it hits really hard. Still a single-shot blaster, so it's not very useful. 
but it looks really good and it's got a sweet iron sights on it so if i just uh, you know it doesn't shoot very hard <laughs> it's actually laughably bad at you know actual distance and stuff but it's supposed to be really accurate you know amazingly accurate you know hit where you're aiming and stuff like that basically but it doesn't have F any fps at all so that concludes all the blasters single shot little tiny little dinky things that i have this isn't all the blasters i have like genuinely this isn't even close to everything i got so remember well remember to subscribe maybe like comment do whatever you'd like uh well pick one out because uh Tell me in the comments which one you like the most. Maybe it's the weird thing or this weird thing or something.